Hey guys, what's up? This is Brett. Welcome to a new episode of Friday on the Turntable. Uh, I'm back with another 2013 release. This time it is by the band Savages. This is their debut album which came out back in May. This is called Silence Yourself. Savages are an all-female uh, British band, although the singer is French. And what a hell of an album they put out for their first one. I just caught them live on uh, Tuesday night. They played here in Phoenix at a venue called the Crescent Ballroom. And I just have to say that seeing them live took the album to a whole new level. I think this band and this album and these songs and the way the songs are deliver, delivered are exactly what music needs right now. A little background, as I said, they're a British band, all female, all organic instruments, meaning it's just bass, drums, guitar, and vocals. The singer doesn't play an instrument. And uh, the musicianship is top notch. Seeing them live was just, the bass player in particular is just the first thing I was, we were set up um, right in front of her. And uh, eyes closed the whole time, all these intricate, just top notch bass lines, and even in between songs, she was still moving as if the songs are still going through her head and it's just you get the impression that these four um, these four people just live and breathe music there's a very serious deliver about them it's all no nonsense there's no extraneous talking between the songs it is just uh, it's just excellent so the music is very reminiscent of late 70s, early 80s, post-punk. I mean, the obvious comparisons musically would be Joy Division, vocally Susie from Susie and the Banshees, but there's so much more to it and seeing it live, it brought, I didn't even think of Susie when I saw the, the vocal delivery live. It made me think of Genesis P. O. Rich from Throbbing Gristle and Psychic TV. Uh, at points, it made me think of Bjork uh, vocally, which would seem odd because of the type of music that it is. Musically, it makes me think of bands like early Christian Death, early Gene Loves Jezebel, the kind of tribalism of Southern Death Cult, and later on into the first couple albums of, of The Cult. And uh, it's high energy, and it is super tight. The, um, the starts, the stops, the dynamics of the band, the instrumentation, the synchroni synchronization, everything about it was just so killer. It's jagged, it's icy, it's, there's this emotional detachment to the, to the delivery of the songs. It's repetitive and it's hypnotic. Um, so in, in this album, Silence Yourself, which was released on Pop Noir, which is, uh, and then Matador, and Pop Noir is the record label of, um, of the singer. Her name is uh, Jenny Beth, and uh, she's one of the co-owners of the record uh, label. And then it's released domestically and I think uh, through Matador. Uh, the, the LP comes with a download card as well. It sounds great. I think this is really, I, my first exposure to this was digitally. And uh, it really lends itself really well to vinyl. You know, you think of like Joy Division's Unknown Pleasures. Just that raw sound of it. And it, it has a comparable sound to that. Um, the album's actually no, uh, nominated for the much coveted British Mercury Prize. It's one I think the 11 nominees of the year. And uh, let me get into some of the highlights from the album. I have to say from beginning to the end there's not a weak spot on it. Opening track Shut Up is just excellent. The second track on this one is called I Am Here. It's, rep it's really repetitive but not in a it's repetitive in a hypnotic way where it just gets stuck in your head and the re repetition is for um, the dynamic intensity in it and there's no wasted word. And at the very end on the outro chorus, she goes into this unexpected falsetto, which is just, I am here, I am here, and it's just, it's brilliant. Third track, Cities Full, is another excellent track for Strife. Has this little guitar motif that makes me think of the first couple notes of Jimi Hendrix's Purple Haze. And it, it's heavy, not in a heavy metal sense, but in a heavy, just this chorus hook is just heavy in its dynamic and it's an emo in its emotional weight. Um, perhaps my favorite track on this one is on side two called She Will. And during the chorus, it's, the, um, it's accented with 12 bars of just quarter note cymbal crashes there. 
and it just goes on and on for 12 bars and it happens twice during the song and it and it is just so amazing and it just accents just the intensity of it and it's just can't say enough good things about it uh, the track no face which follows that I'll quote a little line from it it says don't worry about breaking my heart because you have no face and it's just some of the lyrics in this are just very there's a detachment to it and there's uh, they're very um, there's references to um, men with no eyes and no faces and um, it's just a, a really a psychologically interesting lyrical dynamic throughout the album. Um, the track Husbands, which I believe there's a new music video for, that's another one where there's just those cymbal crashes in there, which just, it just brings it to a controlled chaos, which uh, works on so many levels. The album closes, both sides close with more of a musical, kind of a more subdued, kind of musically tame sound, but lyrically, Marshall Deer, which is the closer, is by no means lyrically tame. Uh, just, um, it has uh, a guy named Duke Garwood who, get, who uh, plays some clarinet. There's a very avant-garde, uh, free jazz-ish clarinet soul that happens. And um, for those of you that catch them on tour, he's actually on tour as an opening act and he's a multi-instrumentalist he's done albums with um mark lanigan who did um, um was in the screaming trees and did various other projects and um but just this uh and he guest performed on a couple tracks during their live show and it is a great closing track uh lyrically very uh very intense as well i know i keep using the word intense but that's one main uh, descriptive term of this album and uh, Marshall Deer also has the lyrics which title the album Silence Yourself and I'll just show you the inner sleeve here because uh, it's cool because it has the, the lyrics printed on both sides so you can um, read along and I found myself really drawn into the um, drawn into the lyrics and like I said about the no face the no eyes there's also this theme of shut up silence yourself it's just uh, there's a lot going on lyrically and a uh, lot to explore within these songs. So, yeah, uh, definitely going to be one of the best albums of 2013. I'm going to just lay that out right there. So this is Savages, Silence Yourself. Guys, definitely pick this one up. It is uh, it's it's excellent. So, um yeah, I'll have a link down in the description box to my blog where you can order yourself a copy, CD, download, vinyl, whatever uh, whatever your poison is. So thanks guys for watching. Savages, silence yourself. Do it.